if you actually want to enjoy some cool moments with your friends, your family, your loved ones, or you want a kind of a get away from the noisy, busty environment, this is actually where you need to come over to. Yeah, yeah. Whispering Farms. Whispering Farms happens to be a place that we discover of late. And I tell you, I was just imagining how beautiful a place this could be. Over here in the coastal city of Badagri, where the lagoons is splashing into the iconic and historical Atlantic Ocean, here lies a beautiful paradise where you can just organize retreats, organize conferences, Organize a takeaway for your loved one, just like I'm spoiling my baby, yeah? My baby. <laughs> you can decide to enjoy the boat ride. And you know, in Badagri, we have a point of uh, no return. But over here, we have what we call the point of return. Because when you come over here, you actually get to return. Maybe you've decided to come over to Badagri to have a taste or a feel or to have a kind of experience of what our African brothers and sisters actually went through when some jokers came into this continent to destabilize us by taking the most powerful set of human beings. And they decided to use them as machine. After crying your heart out and you just want to mellow down to really experience what we call a on peace. Then Whispery Pan happens to be a place you can come out to chill out. And um, is it to talk about boat cruise, jet ride? Is it to talk about just coming over here to write some books that you've been longing to write all the while? Why you look straight down and all you can see is the whispering of waters? that can really, really express their emotions when our brothers, our African brothers were taken out forcefully. And I think this is the place to be. I'm going to be spending some time here, bringing in people from all over the continent of Africa and all over the city of Lagos, down to Abuja and all over Nigeria, just for them to experience what I call Nature at the speak of beauty. Join me as I organize some of my friends from different parts of the continent and outside the continent to come over here, experience peace, experience the food and the culture of the people that are called the Westerners. This is actually where Lagos start from. Badagri. Somewhere down there, houses where we call the point of no return. But where I'm standing here is called Whispering Pumps. Here, you actually have to return. Wherever you are in Africa or outside the continent of Africa, it's time to come back to Africa, the pride of Africa, and enjoy beauty. As I'll be showing you every facilities that exist here and you and I might never have known actually exist here. So join me as I introduce to you these spring farms. You can imagine if you have a wonderful party planned out for yourself and you are thinking of planning a party. You can imagine you are planning a party in which you want it to be by the seaside. Then, you need to come over here to Boat Marina because over here, you can actually have your most iconic party being set up for you here at Whispering Pants where you can have your DJs, your guys in white, all dressed white, white beach party over here and people taking their cruise on the water. You can even have your children's section. You can have a whole lot happening here without disturbance. And that is what is happening here because this place is totally developed, prepared. Borrow me some other English. This place is totally created to 
ensure you have a blast of lifetime. And that is why I'm welcoming you to Whispering Perms. You know, there is something about we human beings. We are more social than being isolated by any form of squabbles that is going out there. And I ran into this, uh, our new friends, yeah? Couples to be. Wow. I ran into our new friends there, yeah? and the good news is that they are couples to be. So maybe they might be proposing to each other using the badagri fish or the badagri flower. I hope it's not lemongrass. <laughs> Sorry, what's the name? <laughs> oh, nice meeting with you, Nelson. And you? Esther. Esther. Permission to shake Esther. <laughs> <laughs> so Esther, Esther here is just telling me that um, she's into event planning, which is one of the cool things that we love to hear. I might just be chilling out with Esther a bit to know why she's into event planning. So Esther, why event planning of all things? Just the passion. Okay. It's all about the passion. Party and just manner, it's all crowded. Okay. The DJ is coming a few minutes after the couple arrives. The caterer coming. Can't even remember that. Oh, today is your wedding. Ah, I forgot. Or, oh, you know, the issues that come up when you don't have somebody that is in charge of the day because the bride has lost. Okay. What about Okay. Oh, you also double as decorator. Yes. Wow. Which uh, events have you handled? Major events that you've handled that you love of to project to uh, Wow. 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 Where was that? Wow. Okay. And I also help. Uh, Award. Okay. Yeah, I think that they, they That's interesting. Um, what, sorry that I'm asking this. Where did you start this event from? Was it when you were in school or outside school? You know, the normal was when you just want to say, I have something that I want to come up with. I don't know if I need to say. Ah, I can do it too. And that was just started. Okay, and I'm a party person. I love to go to party. Okay, let me go to this party. I just try my luck. When I tried, then it was working, it was working. But like, people might ask me that, but I went to the I went to Dami and Event Academy. Wow. And that was where I finished my event planning and take Okay. My boss, Dami Okay. That's, that's great. That's great. So you can see what we are talking about, too. Uh, talking about the African youth. Not just settling down for white collar job, but for us to have the mindset of creating job opportunities in which we can even employ more, employ more, employ other African youth so that they can have this feel of being secured by our by our own security. If there is anything we should take home from Esther. I think it's the basic fact that one, Esther loves to party, and he decided to mo she decided to monetize her partying yes. skills into <laughs> money making machine. So that's why whatever you want to do in this life, make sure it's something that that is tailored towards your passion, something that you enjoy. I've seen so many people they will be saying, okay, uh, you ask them what they want to do. They'll be mentioning some spiritual, spiritual things that they want to do, living in the world of imagination. 
and they don't have love for it. And I've also seen a lot of persons, especially in Badagri here, I've seen a lot of youths have asked them what they actually want to do. And to my greater surprise, all the, like, eight to ten persons I've asked, they've given me that they love what they are doing. And I think that's something to take home from Badagri. I want to assume that people that you find here, they've drank the water of return not water of no return <laughs> so over there is the chairman i heard that he's an officer so i, I don't want to trespass <laughs> you know what officers can do before before they throw me inside the lagoon <laughs> so my god i'm just uh frank nelson, nelson okay so over there we have nelson and nelson it's looking cool. He doesn't want much of a disturbance. And uh, men looking at him, I, I can see in his eyes that he's enjoying whispering fam. Wow. So the bottom line of this is the fact that guys, you want a place to chill out. You want a place to plan your business to the next level. Whispering fam, I consider it as number one. Because it's a total hideout from the normal noise and the light distractions from Lagos. You came all the way from Lagos now. So, wow. She came all the way from Surulere and here at Whispering Farms, she's enjoying the life of her head. The eye of the cat. Yes. <laughs> okay, so it's nice having this conversation. Thanks very, so very, very much. much. So, my brother, thanks so very much. You know the funny thing about whispering uh, pumps is the fact that whenever you come, regardless of the number of families you come in with friends, you can actually have a bit of what we call the Angela bike. The Angela bike is a means of transportation within the vicinity as you it up it affords you the opportunity of going around the serene environment to discover the different lush area, the seaside the numerous bungalows around the places that you can really enjoy and i just tell you this is a perfect destination for tourists for people that want to visit badagri badagri uh, the place where calmness mixes with nature and i tell you my kids have been like they don't want to go so let's enjoy the fun life is really fun here <laughs> as <laughs> you and your family a whole pack of the family can enjoy life to the maximum how are you doing yeah you know there is something about the land called africa we have a whole lot of nature mother nature kissing the head i just want to show you around this beautiful lane what you're going to be seeing here is a whole lot of comfy what i call comfort and pleasure mixed together and it's high time we Africans get used to going on vacation with our kids, showing them the beauty of nature. If you really want to have a nice time here in Nigeria, Whispering Farms is a place of repute, a place to visit with your family, your friends, your loved ones. You can plan out parties here, weekend getaway, business meetings. Thanksgiving ceremonies, even your wedding. There are a lot of conference rooms for you to use in case you are that uh, business conscious mindset. You want to organize retreats for your people. I tell you, this is a very, very interesting technical hideout. You talk about uh, seeing the zoo. They have the best of crocodiles, well-fed crocodiles. They have some monkeys there that are so, so interesting. Did you see their monkeys? Okay, right now we are heading over to see their monkeys and their crocodile. Yes. It will surprise you that right here at Whispering Pumps, there is a beautiful collection of animals in their zoo. So follow me as we enjoy 
our stay here learning about the beautiful set of animals in this zoo i tell you whatever you need to do to get here is all time fun for you and for your kids how are you now hey check me now check me <laughs> if he claps your hand there eh? we just what we have here is the only baboon and it's from the family of Sacopi Tessai. Hey, is from the class of Mammalia, the mama, and the life expectancy of this baboon is between 35 to 45 years. This species is called Papio Anubis. Papio Anubis. Over here we have the crocodile. The life, the life expectancy of a crocodile is between 30 to 70 years. The scientific name is Crocodile Linea. Crocodile Linea. From the family of crocodile, kingdom of Animalia. Class is what we call Reptalia. And it has a lifespan of about 20 years. The higher classification of this monkey is called Colorosebus. Colorosebus. This is Turkey, and Turkey has a lifespan of about 10 years. The scientific name is Malaria Grace. Then over there we have the domestic duck. We have the domestic duck, and the domestic duck has a lifespan of between five to ten years. Wait a minute. Do you think that your children can be a disturbance to your fun time with your spouse while you are here? Hell no. They have their own section where they are entertained with numerous games. So what more do you expect from a place that can really house your kids while you are busy as mommy and daddy having some fun time? Your kids can actually be well treated here at Whispering Palms. This is truly a place to be all the way from Badagri. And you know the interesting thing, even we, the adults, are not left behind. This reminds me when I was serving over there at Nasa Rawa. Now, to do this, all you just need to do is to pick one after the other. Let me see if I can still go ahead to do this. Never mind me. That's why you need more exercise in a place like this to keep fit. You can imagine me not being able to complete this stretch. Then you have some other swing here. This is really fun time for adults to come over here and have a blast of your movement. By the time you walk out here, I'm telling you, you will always want to come back to Whispering Farms and enjoy yourself to the fullest this is really a place to be and over here we have the beautiful lawn tennis court you can see that right from the entrance into this beautiful space all you will just be experiencing is fun fun and nothing but fun this is a master sized lawn tennis uh, court all for your enjoyment so Come over to Whispering Palms and enjoy peace and pleasure while your kids can have their fun at this point. Mm -hmm.